what is up guys it is the blue bloods here back with another episode it's been a minute since we talked about mississippi valley state as this is the perfect time as they landed former three-star colorado linebacker zephaniah maya and this is a huge huge addition for for vincent dancy's team and this guy is an absolute day one starter in my opinion for that valley defense inside linebacker 6'1 235 last year was it was just a true freshman over at Colorado and he came out of Las Vegas Nevada played at Liberty High School three-star recruit consensus but he was the number seven player in Nevada according to the 247 composite a top 45 inside linebacker nationally and when you look at what he could possibly bring, man, this is a guy who was a four-year member of the varsity team at Liberty. Over his career, 208 total tackles, 11 for loss, six and a half sacks, two forced fumbles and a pass breakup. And this is a guy who also didn't play in 2020 due to COVID. Those, you know, over there in California, Nevada, that COVID really impacted those communities. So those high school guys missed out on a year, which I think, I think Maya possibly could have been a four star if he got to play that net, that you know that fourth year or that extra year during COVID. But when you look at what he brings, man, this guy is so dynamic, man. He can get back in coverage, but he the best thing he can do is be a run stopper, man. He brings power to the to the game. You see right here, man, his vision is excellent. He diagnoses the play quickly, and when he does, he gets upfield fast, and he goes and makes a play. There is no hesitation in this guy, and he has all the physical qualities that you want in a linebacker. He I listed his stats earlier, man. He, I mean, listen, 235 as a freshman is solid. I, I'm imagining he's probably going to put on a bit more weight. You see here his rushing touchdowns. He had two rushing touchdowns on three carries in high school, but he, you've seen on the highlights, he can pancake offensive linemen. He has the athleticism to chase down running backs, quarterbacks, and his ability to just bring the boom in those close quarters is something that, that, that you really want, man. When he gets to the ball carrier, he is going to make them pay. When you look at this Valley defense, they lost a lot of big contributors and, especially in that front seven. So I think I think Maya is going to step in and be a real impact player for Dancy's defense and Valley. A lot of people are looking at them as a dark horse in the SWAC this year, someone who could make a little bit of waves. Dancy has done an excellent job building that roster with how little resources he has compared to the rest of the FCS. I believe today there was a number in one of the FCS groups that – Mississippi Valley State only has a $4 million budget for athletics, and Vince Dancy is putting together an excellent squad. But Maya is going to bring a lot of eligibility, a lot of just athleticism to that middle linebacker spot. And I think he's going to be one of the leaders for Valley going into the 2022 season this year, an immediate impact player. And this is really one of the, I would say, one of the biggest commitments. In the SWAC this offseason, I know a lot of people are going to be looking at me sideways, but this was a big need for Valley, and they landed in a guy who I think could be a SWAC All-American in the future, man. And you're seeing here what he's going to bring to that rush defense that was already one of the best in the SWAC, and he's going to be able to get after the passer as well. So, man, big commitment here for Mississippi Valley State. And I'm excited to see what, what Maya could bring to this Mississippi Valley State defense. So comment below your thoughts on this addition for Valley, what you think he's going to bring to that defense, and what do you think he could do in his first year in the SWAC coming up in 2022, man. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel now, and stay tuned for all the, all the great content we have coming. Check out our interviews that we dropped this week. We, we really focused on the O-line, focused on texas southern as well so make sure to go check out all those great interviews also our latest recruiting news we have we spotlighted alabama a&m over the past few days so stay tuned and check out some more stuff on that but until next time guys the blue bloods are out